Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new week in my life. Last week I didn't do one because I had like so many random appointments which all ended up getting cancelled. Lovely, I know. And the appointments like I was gonna be like numb in my face because I was gonna get my um, cavities filled. They rescheduled and then I was gonna get my IUD in and I was gonna be on some like like pill. I thought it was a pain pill but I guess it just like calmed my anxiety down. Anyways, so I just didn't vlog last week because I literally thought I was going to be drugged like two days out of like the five, um, but that didn't happen. But anyways, we're here this week and we're going to make it a good one. We're going to make it a productive week because in like two weeks or maybe am I going next week? Okay, so Ryan's going home this week for a wedding and then I'm going to California next week. So I'm really excited, but I feel like I have a lot of work to get done before that so I can like actually chill and not really have to worry about like filming and, you know, TikToks and all that. Obviously, I'm going to like still make TikToks in California, but I'll mostly be with my family. So I want to like make sure I get everything done before I go there. It is Monday and I had an early morning shoot. It was a maternity shoot and we shot at UT Austin, which I shoot there like literally every single day from I don't know March through May because I do a lot of grads and I'm a photographer here in Austin if you guys are new here so we went there to beat the heat in the morning and it's just such a versatile photo location so I feel like I recommend it for like a lot of things like senior photos or obviously grads maternity family photos anything honestly especially in the summer when there's not that many people on campus. Then I came home and showered, did my skincare routine. I have this little pimple patch on my face. I would die for pimple patches. The fact that they were not invented earlier, like especially in my teen years, I wish I had them, even though I didn't have like that much acne, but they do so much in so little time and it would have just been so helpful back then but it is currently 9 30 and i actually have a nail person coming to my apartment at 10 a.m later this week i'm going to an influencer event for essie the nail polish company so they gifted us an appointment with cherry which is an app that you can book nail artists or like just give you a pedicure or manicure at home i'm pretty sure they have other services maybe but I've actually worked with Cherry the company before so I actually have had um, a couple of these people come to my house and they do a really good job I'm pretty sure you can do gel too but I think today's manicure might just be the regular nail polish I'm very excited because my nails do need some love in I got like gel on them they are a little bit grown out so it's like literally perfect timing so I'm gonna just tidy up the living room a bit answer some emails and then I'll probably go let them in and get my manicure how do you need to set it up okay I think I'll go for the white. I feel like this is very like trendy. Hailey Bieber chrome nails. Yeah, I think I'll do the white then. Here are my nails. I thought they were gonna be like more of like a white chrome, but they're like more of like a purple chrome, which are so cute, very different though for me. And she told me that my nails need a break, which I know they do, because <laughs> they fucking hurt when they're going at them with like a drill or just like filing them. They freaking hurt so bad. So yeah, I definitely need to chill with like the Gel X and like even just gel. Maybe I'll try to like start painting on my own or just like stick to the press-ons. But it is lunchtime already and I'm gonna make a chicken snack wrap. I got like just frozen chicken tender things from Costco and then it's like so easy from there but I'll show you guys how I make it. So I use these tortillas, they're the carb balance and they're 70 calories for one tortilla. I usually just use one because it's pretty filling. <laughs> so you literally just take your tortilla I don't toast it because I don't think the McDonald's ones are toasted. I just have this bag of lettuce and I just put it, spread it out kind of. Then we got our mild cheddar cheese. And I literally just air fried some frozen chicken strips. And I personally like to like pull them apart and just like cut them up a little bit. And honestly, like one chicken strip should be good enough. I did two chicken strips just in case like I was hungry and I could just eat the other one with like honey mustard or something. And you could put like honey mustard with this or ranch. Today I'm gonna do ranch though, so it can be just like the McDonald's one. And that's literally it. I mean, I don't know how to wrap it like they do, 
I definitely probably needed like a bigger tortilla to wrap it, but like, look how good that looks. Just like a McDonald's chicken snack wrap. So I'm gonna enjoy this, have my little lunch, and I need to get to some emails for the day. Kitchen's a mess. I'm frantically trying to cook dinner. Vacuum's going because my friends are coming over tonight for a bachelorette. I feel like this is gonna be like a every Monday thing. Bachelorette literally just started last Monday. And I think I might be like one of the only ones with cable. I'm not really sure. But anyways, I love having my girls over, so I don't even mind it at all. But I'm cooking some butter chicken, literally just chopped up chicken, added some random seasonings. And I'm using this little butter chicken HEB packet. And I'm randomly obsessed with this brown rice. I don't know why, but it like just tastes so good. So I'm just gonna do a quick little meal. And I also wanted to make like a fun drink some agua fresca. I saw a TikTok of this girl making it and I was like, ooh, that looks so refreshing and good. And sometimes I like to make stuff like that when I have friends around so that I don't have to like drink it all or like, you know, if I want to bake a cake, I don't have to eat it all. So I might do that if I have time. I'm trying to rush, make my dinner. And then if we do have time, I'm going to be making some agua fresca. Okay, the pups came to play. <laughs> no, she's getting excited. Sophie is not loving Daisy right now, but <laughs> hopefully one day she will. Hi. Okay. okay. Taste okay. test. Have like a um, a little like Yorkie like yeah. mix, and he just like owns the place. Yeah. You can be honest. What does it need more? I like it. It's sweet, but it's. Does it need more lime? Really good. I wish there was alcohol. Oh. <laughs> Well, good to know. Then I maybe I'll make it, it one day. No, Yay! Should, should I put more lime? Do you think? Um, I think it's like the perfect mix. Here, okay. Brennan, try it. Brennan is the real expert. Am I? Yeah. <laughs> because she always bartends. Ooh. Expert. Ooh, yay! <laughs> I love it. It is Tuesday, still in the same outfit because I woke up at 6 a.m. for an early morning shoot and it was already out. I didn't really wanna like rummage through my clothes to find something to wear, so. Just in the same sweat set. Also, this is from Outdoor Voices. Ryan just got me a surprise coffee from Starbucks. My order is a grande iced white mocha with oat milk, half, wait, does it say half decaf? So it's half calf? Ryan, you got me? Yeah. Um, no whipped cream, but like substitute the whipped cream for salted, wait, what is it called? Mm. Salted caramel cold foam. That is my order. Today is a very exciting day, <clears throat> but first we are taking out Sophie on a walk. How far are we gonna go? Just a little light walk? Hmm? Just around the block. Just around the block. Okay, let's go, come on. Have you guys switched over to the small camera, which I've honestly been really contemplating just fully switching back to this one. It's the Sony A5100, and I currently film my vlogs on the Sony A7 IV, um, but it's so big and so chunky, and I feel like I would definitely vlog a lot more outside of my home if I 
like switched back to the smaller camera, which is this one right now. So tell me what you guys think about the quality. I feel like I just get so embarrassed pulling out that big chunky Sony a7 IV. So I don't know been really thinking about it but we're headed to culture ATX because I'm gonna do something different to my hair and that is going completely dark we're gonna go natural we're gonna go black can't lie I was definitely inspired by the Kardashians and Kim's hair in the new Kardashian show is just like so long and black and it just looks so good so I was like you know what let's do it also Ryan has no idea that I'm doing this and he has been just telling me like I should dye it back for the longest time probably since I dyed my hair honestly I think he just prefers me with black hair and honestly I have a lot of trust in him he like styles outfits better than me he knows like the trends before I do not to reference the Kardashians again but I feel like he is my Kanye um hopefully just like the good beginning part like he's my stylist and he just like knows what looks good for me and what looks good on me so I am trusting him finally and we're gonna go darker and I'm so excited. I'm very nervous though, like what if I hate it? Because I do love the dimension in my hair, but it's honestly just so much maintenance, like the brassiness in my hair I can't deal with. I can't remember the last time I got it toned, but I feel like it wasn't that long ago and it's already brassy and I know I'm like swimming a lot and washing my hair a lot more in the summer, so that could definitely be the reason, but I'm just like, you know what, let's just dye it black so hopefully I don't have to deal with that. I don't know if like it lightens back up or what but hopefully it doesn't. Here with Mariana at again. Culture ATX. Yeah literally again. I feel like I come here a little too often <laughs> but we're going darker so like I don't know how do you, how do you do it? Do you just take the color and I don't know what are we doing? Like, this, like we're going this? Like all over yeah. that like yeah. no dimension just straight up. No. Okay. Are you sad? all your hard work well we're definitely <laughs> gonna do a toner i just would never suggest doing permanent because i know at some point you're gonna want to go back to you think? <laughs> well it's just if you did I don't decide want it to fade that much that's my issue because i feel like yeah. it, like the last time we did toner i don't know i don't remember when but it was like not yeah. that long ago and i just feel like it gets so brassy yeah know? So we're gonna do, it's still gonna be non-permanent for sure. Like there's yeah. nobody I would suggest yeah. doing permanent all over. Yeah. Like it's just gonna look one color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't even look natural, you know? Cause okay. even naturally you'll have some yeah. dimension. Yeah, yeah, So, I mean it will fade eventually, but we'll use something stronger and okay. we'll apply it dry so that your hair really absorbs it. Okay. And hope for the best. And I'm thinking like it should last you at least like six months. I feel like my hair just looks like thicker too. Isn't that crazy? Yay! Back to bed. Here's the final product. It already looks so much shinier and more healthy and I'm just so happy that I did it. I don't know if I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and be like, who the fuck is this in the mirror? because I'm gonna probably miss my money pieces the most, like these little highlighted pieces in the front. Just frames the face so well. I just feel like it was about time for me to go back and just like the maintenance of dyeing your hair. It can definitely add up, it's pricey sometimes and I'm not even like blonde. I know some of my blonde friends that pay so much like every six weeks or something like that and I was mind blown when my friend told me that. I was like, that's like almost every single month. Maybe it's a little bit longer of a duration but still that's so often to pay that much money. Um, but with my cut and color, I paid 285 with tip. So, I mean, that's still a lot, but I feel like I was there for so long. And I'm hoping it doesn't fade so I don't have to, like, go back for a while. Like, I don't have to get my hair done every six weeks. So, <laughs> thank God. I'm kind of feeling chatty. I might get on TikTok Live. I feel like I haven't done that in a while and I already have my makeup done. But I'm going to get in my cozies and maybe, like, cook some dinner. I had the leftover butter chicken for lunch. So, I don't know if I really want to do, like, a chicken dish. I also have like dye still on my face so I'm gonna wash it off later. I was already like marinating the chicken. I was just gonna do like some sheet pan taco situation but I think I might make euros instead because we bought the euro meat from Costco and I'm hoping we still have pitas. If not we have tortillas 
and then I can cut up like bell peppers and onions and all of that jazz. I feel like I'm just all about the easy meals. <laughs> but guys, oh my gosh, I totally forgot to give you guys my review on the agua fresca that we had last night. I'm literally craving it again. It was so freaking good. It was like a lot of cucumbers. I didn't really do like an exact measurement, but I did follow a TikTok recipe, so I'll link that down below of just like what to put in it, but like not how much, I guess. So I think I did like six cucumbers, and then I did a bunch of lime, and then I kept kind of like adding in like lime and sugar and water um, to get that taste right. And then the tahini rim was like the cherry on top. Oh my god, it was so good. I'm also probably dehydrated because I feel like I have been so bad at drinking water today. So I'm going to go fill up my water bottle and get on that. I just went on live for a little bit and I was just kind of like prepping dinner while I was doing it. So we're doing a little chicken taco sheet pan kind of thing. I'm always telling you guys about this little chicken taco packet, but seriously, I have like 10 of these in my pantry just in case we have one of these nights, which is very, very often. So that's why I like to stock up. But I also made this really freaking good drink i am obsessed with sprite so i think it was like a couple years ago no i don't know i was in this low calorie phase and we found these at our grocery store sprite zeros so that and then these like little true lime packets i saw this tiktok girl using these and she puts them in her Diet Coke and there's not like much in the packet. So I was like, is this even gonna like make a difference? But it really, really tastes like a fresh lime that squeezed into my Sprite. And I'm kind of like shook because I always do like a little bit of lime. And then if I have some, I usually like to put mint leaves in it. So it's like a virgin mojito. Tonight we're doing it without the mint leaves. It still tastes like so good. And this whole thing is zero calories because the freaking true lime thing is zero calories too. I'm not counting calories right now, but like I said, Sprite is my weakness. So knowing that this is like literally zero calories is quite crazy. I'm about to put the pan in the oven and then I'm gonna go take a quick shower, take off my makeup for the day, get into my cozies, and then Ryan should be home by that time. Oh my god guys guess what just arrived okay in my last weekly vlog i got the bottega veneta dupe for the noodle bag and i talked about how i bought some stuff off of dh gate honestly i'm kind of surprised that this is even here right now because i didn't know it'd be that fast well i guess that was kind of a couple weeks ago so anyways um oh there we go okay let's do an unboxing so like i said this is not real it's a dupe. Comes in this little duster bag. Smells like leather. <laughs> Do we love? So this is what it looks like and it clasps right over here. You put the little L in that little loop right there. <gasps> Wait, Ryan, look. What do you think? That's nice. This is the Y Cell Hobo bag. I'm gonna put the exact DH gate link down below because there's a lot of listings for similar bags. So I feel like now that you guys know what this listing looks like, like I don't know the differences between them. Also, if you guys have this bag, let me know what you guys think. Like, does it look real? Does it look fake? I can't really tell, honestly. <laughs> like, I don't really have designer items, so I wouldn't be able to tell, but. I really like it. I actually just went to YSL at the domain and I saw this in person, but I, I don't know. I would need to see it side by side to like know the difference, you know, and like the feeling of it. Good morning, it is Wednesday and I went in for some cavity fills. So I'm very numb still. And he said it would wear off like an hour, an hour and a half after the appointment. Um, the appointment was at nine, it's almost 12. And he said not to eat anything until the numbing goes away and I'm starving. I was literally starving going to the appointment. So I wish I would have known that. So I just made myself a smoothie and it's actually so hard to drink because the cavities are like on the top of my um, mouth, I guess the top row of my teeth. Um, so like my lips like just don't work. Um, but hopefully this chills out because I literally have an event to go to and I have a really important call at like 2 p.m. and I'm pretty sure it's a video call so 
can you not it's so weird it feels so weird but i'm really happy because i was supposed to go in for three appointments to do all my cavities like he was gonna do like a section at a time and i was just like why can't you just do it all at once because i don't just i don't really want to go in and be numbed like three times three different times that would be so annoying so luckily like today he was like i'll just do two today and then come back for another one i'm gonna try to drink this smoothie and edit some photos um and then probably edit a video i don't know i'm just really trying to wait for this numbness to go away and then i'll do my makeup and i just have some filming to do if i can <laughs> other than that today is the event with essie at 5 p.m and it's on the east side so it's super close to me and it's at Ossing Den, which they have like the best little bao buns so i'm really really hoping that they give us like their food because sometimes it's like catered by a different company i think the last event the charlotte tilbury event i'm not sure if it was like actually wax myrtle's food or if it was like a catering event i've never been to wax myrtle so i'm not really sure i'd be interested to know that um but yeah i'm really really hoping for some good food i don't even know if it's well yeah it's at a restaurant so why would they not give us food right i don't know also like i said i'm going to california next week and not that i'm doing anything like crazy cute and fun and picturesque i'll probably just be hanging out with my family but i do kind of just want to buy like maybe like two outfits three outfits just like a couple new pieces so that i can take some cute content like on the beach and stuff so i do want to look at that asap because i'm probably gonna have to do like express shipping just to make sure it gets here in time i can move my face finally like a normal human being and I put on makeup on. I didn't put mascara on because my eyes are like so watery. I don't know why. I've been sneezing so bad these past few days. It's getting so annoying. I'm going to head to an event soon. So I need to like remember to actually put mascara on because it is not a look without it. But I was on video call um, with a management agency. And I'm just like really interested in getting a manager because I feel like that's just like the next step to take since I quit my job in December and just like going full-time content creation. It is a big step though and I'm kind of like hesitant because usually managers take 20% of every brand deal that they get you and also brand deals that come directly to you even though they didn't pitch you or they didn't like reach out to the brand or have that connection. So like I knew that was normal. I knew that's like kind of the standard but that just gives me some hesitation. Um, and then also I didn't know that apparently managers take 20% of your affiliate sales. So like, like to know it or Amazon affiliates, which I feel like both of those platforms, I get like a good amount of my income per month. So that's just what's kind of like making me take a step back and be like, okay, like, do I actually need them? Like, I know it would help me grow and like, I know that they could get me more brand deals and negotiate higher rates, maybe even not give me more brand deals, but have, you know, the brand deals that I have right now every month and then just like negotiate those higher rates so, so I don't have to really put in more work. Um, but I'm not really sure about like what my rates would be in their eyes, I guess, until I like, you know, sign with them, obviously. But I don't know. I'm just like kind of scared to do it and like take that step even though i know that maybe that is just like the next best thing that i can do for like everything that i'm doing right now the laundry is going on right now so i'm sorry about the background noise but also some like life updates i guess like business updates um i think i said this on vlog before but i'm not really sure my assistant that has been working with me since i want to say like february or march she got a full-time job so she's not really helping me as much as she did the things i had her do were slowing down anyways because i wasn't in the middle of like my busy season with photography and so it kind of like worked out perfectly and then i also don't have a video editor i just did one month with her and that didn't work out so i'm back on my own and i think that's why i've been just having a hard time like being consistent with my videos on youtube at least um because i feel like i don't have anything one to hold me accountable which is another reason why i want a manager is to just like you know kind of like motivate me more to get things done and do more and be more productive and just like reach my highest potential and I know that's like what they're made for so like it's like a devil and an angel telling me like okay you literally need this like this is the next best thing that you can do for yourself and then the devil saying like okay well what if you can get brand deals on your own and then you wouldn't have to give the 20% so I'm not really sure 
and that is what I'm struggling with but right now I'm just kind of like going through all my analytics and pulling them screenshotting them I'm gonna put them in like a little canva document so I can send that over to the girl I was just talking to so that they can kind of have a look on their end to see if I would be a good fit for them I do think I need to pause on this and like actually put on my mascara and like pick out my outfit because I feel like picking out the outfit is going to take the most amount of time um but luckily the place is not that far away for me that I have to be there at five so let's get ready I am so happy with this outfit like I'm shook so this bag is from Pop Bay I unboxed it in my last weekly vlog but yeah it's a Bottega Veneta dupe I was actually referencing this last night when I was opening that YSL bag but yeah, not real. So cute though. I'm freaking obsessed with it. My noodle bag. And then this top is from Princess Polly. And then these jeans are from Zara. And I'm kind of mad that I've been sleeping on Zara jeans for so long. Um, but they are the most flattering fit. I'm usually a size 10 in jeans. These are a size 44 and fit perfectly. And then my heels are my usual Dolce Vita clear strap Knowles heels. They're like so comfortable. They are always my go-to. I think I might have a snack here and chill out for a little bit because I don't want to be the first one there. Maybe I can change up my jewelry or something like that. Oh wait, I want to film a TikTok. Give like a little outfit of the day. So I will see you guys at the event. After almost three years of living in Austin, Ryan finally got a inflatable paddleboard and he blew it up in the living room. I told him, why'd you do that? Why did you do that, Ryan? I see it. <laughs> But you're gonna have to deflate it and then go on the lake and then inflate it again and then deflate it Hope again. I have an electric one though. Yeah, maybe you need to do some research. What is this brand? Hosper? I guess it's so. pretty large, like it's really long. I mentioned it's 10.6. 10.6? And you're sure I can't be on it with you? I, think you can. I feel like it's so long and big. Let's stand on it. What the heck? It feels so like sturdy. Where'd you buy it? Walmart.com. Walmart.com. And it was on sale or something? How much was it? It's not bad. See how long it lasts. Why? Huh? It looks, it feels so like sturdy. Yeah. Oh, it has this like nice wood texture. I didn't even realize it's like a wood texture. Okay, well, I'm gonna head to the event soon. I am starving. I'm really, really hoping for some little light bites. Can you feel it? from the event and it was such a fun event i felt like so frazzled walking in there i don't know why but i saw all my influencer friends and it's like so fun because at first when i started going to these like events i was so intimidated i was like dreading it the whole day even though they're so exciting i was like scared to like walk in alone because well i think i can't remember if i could have get, gotten a plus one for this event but i think the last event i couldn't have a plus one so i was really scared to walk in alone but then i just saw like people I knew and I was like wait this is so fun and I feel like I'm always one of the last ones that leave because I'm like I don't want to leave like I just love having conversations with people that like do the similar things and they just get it and I feel like I didn't even take that much content because I was just like talking the whole time but it was such a fun event they had like a little drag show it was so cool like I've never seen that in person before so that was like my first one ever and it was really really awesome I'm very happy that I got to see all my like creator friends and got to meet some new people too so um I'm very surprised it's like still light out I thought it would be like dark when I got home I'm still kind of hungry because <laughs> the food was so good but I feel like I was just talking so much that I didn't really have time to eat. So I need to fill my stomach up with something good, something healthy because I literally brought home the donuts that were like out on display. One of the Essie girls said that they were Krispy Kreme and I was like, I'm taking some home because Ryan is going to die when he sees them. Welcome home, everyone. She knew. You were home. She, knew. Yeah. she could smell. Every time like Ryan comes home before me and like I'm with Sophie, she like drags me to the door because she smells him like on the corner of the wall. It's so weird. It's like not like we bump into the wall or anything. It's so weird how she knows, but she just knows. Okay, well, I'm gonna go shower and get in my cozies.
and I'll talk to you guys later. Good morning. It is Thursday. I feel like this week is flying by, but I feel like this vlog is going to be so good and so long. I could just already feel it. It's like a good week. Um, but I am headed off to a shoot. I filmed a campaign this morning. I shot for this girl before and I did her maternity photos. And then after that, I have a coffee date with my friend Hannah. She also does TikTok. And we're going to go to Lucky Lab Coffee. I think that's what it's called near UT. I went there before and their chai was so good. So I'm very excited to be going back because they have like really cool interesting drinks so i wonder if they have like summer specials or anything like that um i also waxed my eyebrows this morning last time i went to the eyebrow place they like chopped a bunch of hairs off my brows so they're not as fluffy when i brushed them up and it just made me really sad so i was just like i should probably just try it on my own and there wasn't that much it was just like little stragglers that i was like i'll just get the wax out so i used this hard wax right here gg strip free and you basically microwave it and it melts and then you take like a little popsicle stick and apply it which is kind of scary because i was really scared of it dropping into my eyelash and like me having to literally pluck my eyelashes out thank god that didn't happen but anyways i'm gonna pack up my camera bag and then head out the door just got done with the shoot and i got to meet her new baby and it's so weird that like we were even that small like every time i see like a newborn baby i'm just like literally how there's this one blogger i shoot with every single month and she has two kids every time i go back each month i feel like the kids already grow so much and they're like speaking different words it just sounds so much more mature and it's just weird it's just wild how did we even like grow to be like an actual human being doing shit and making money i just I don't know it's like mind-blowing like the day I birth the baby I feel like that will like change me forever I've definitely heard that it does that um but anyways it was good to see her she's super sweet and now I'm at Lucky Lab so it's near UT and I'm meeting my friend Hannah I'm pretty sure I already said all this so these glasses are one of my favorite styles ever I swear I've purchased like more than five in my lifetime because i keep losing them but the great thing about these are they're so cheap they're on amazon and i just feel like the style is very very flattering i'm gonna link them down below and they're the like best sunglass brand on amazon so if you guys don't like this style definitely recommend to just like check out that brand on amazon <laughs> my hands fall <laughs> i got a citrus chai i don't even understand but it's good definitely come here what do you what did you get just vanilla chai we love it's a chai really good, <laughs> so Ryan's going home tomorrow for a wedding so tonight's our last night together for a while so we wanted to bring out the paddle board to the river and see how it does it shall be interesting blowing up this thing because I think it takes a lot of work to do it <laughs> I don't know about this. Oh my god, there's a snake. Wait, where is it now? Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> Happy Friday, I am doing some press-ons. I just did these static nails. This is the brand. And they're like way too long, so I'm gonna have to file them down and I just got like some fuzzies on them. So anyways, I think they look good, but yeah. I don't think I can like live life with long nails like this. Here are the final nails. I filed them down so they're still kind of like, have like the little loose threads. I don't know, it's kind of weird. But anyways, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> And then also my makeup just got all over them, but I think they're so cute. But I'm gonna go for a matcha date. I need to attend to that pile of laundry when I get back. But I wanted to get dressed up and just like put on a cool girl fit. So this is what I came up with. So this little green shirt is from Princess Polly. I've had it for so long now. Um, and it's really good quality, honestly. I usually just wear it as like a cover up or like a 
button down over like a crop top or like a swimsuit but I've never really worn it just as a shirt and I really like it and then I also have these shoes from Puma and they have like this little green accent it's pretty like more on the neutral side but still kind of like goes together and we have my favorite Topshop shorts I literally cannot find these exact ones anywhere it's so annoying because i want to link them for you guys like they're called the a-line shorts you can try to find them on like poshmark or something i found like different colors but the colors that they have are like not the best well actually they have a white one so i'll try to link that one but the other ones are like really weird like blue denim like this is blue but like those are like dark blue and i just like it's not the vibe so anyways i really like these shorts but i'm gonna try to like scout out more shorts that are like these i think it's just like the a-line fit is just so flattering because it is not like hugging me on my butt also final review on my hair and just dyeing it back i am obsessed i know i said that the first day but like i'm truly obsessed now that i've gone to sleep with it and woken up with it and like filmed content with it like i just like feel like myself again which is weird also my mom's already in california and i facetimed her and i told her not to tell my grandma because my grandma's gonna be so happy to see that my hair is not dyed anymore. She like loves when I go natural everything. So can't wait to show her my new hair. Looks incredible. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I love my is girl. It? I know. Oh my God. I'm excited about it. <laughs> you guys, Sonali, I'm like a fan. <laughs> thank you. But her hair looks Oh my gosh, impressive. thank you. I was literally just saying how It's a couple hours later and Brian was working when I came home so I ended up just doing some of his laundry so that his packing would go faster. And now I'm heating up some like frozen burrito egg breakfast thingies. <laughs> and they're really good, they're from Costco but we're just like really hungry right now and I don't know what to make so. We're just making those in the air fryer. I also need to go to HEB because tomorrow we're going floating on the San Marcos River for one of my friend's birthdays. And I wanted to bring some kind of food item and I was trying to think about it for so long. I asked Ryan just now and he said I should make those like little sandwiches with the Hawaiian rolls. I'm pretty sure I showed you in two separate vlogs. They're so freaking good and they're just so easy to transport. You basically just keep the Hawaiian rolls like in the package, but like make the sandwiches while they're all still together it's like so clutch so i think i'm gonna bring like just two packets of those so that we can eat them on the bus before we go on the tubes i think that would be smart just so you know we're not too hungry and like if we don't have like enough food in our systems you know that would be bad if we're drinking so that is the plan once i drop ryan to the airport i'm also gonna like clean the house i feel like that needs to be done for sure and i really 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 want to um take this TV off this wall. And you're probably like, what the fuck? But we never use this TV. It's kind of old and it's not a smart TV and I hate to sound like a brat, but like I feel like smart TVs are just so clutch. We do have an Apple TV, but it's just not as easy. I feel like the Apple TVs are just so slow. Anyway, so I wanted to take this down, take off the bracket, fill in the holes, and then use this wall as a screen for my projector because i don't know if you guys remember this but i did a brand deal with this samsung projector i forgot what it's called crap what is this called anyways it's a really really cool projector and i feel like i haven't really used it because there's not many blank spots on our walls anymore but since we don't use this tv i feel like this is such a vibe and i just ordered like this acrylic shelf and velcro clear velcro so i could put a little shelf on here and i could take it off when i'm not using this projector how freaking cool would that be or we can just shoot it up and the screen will like play on the ceiling but the fan's kind of in the way ryan hmm? do we have time Four. to take off the tv no. please no. can i do it myself is it heavy it's not gonna take that long i'll take no. off the bracket i just need you to lift the tv Haha, uh -huh. he helped me. <laughs> now I just have to unscrew this, which shouldn't be that hard. You can barely tell, but there's like just three holes that I need to get some putty for and clean up a little bit, but I think it's gonna be so fun. It is 8.47, it's a lot later. I dropped Ryan off at the airport and then I got kind of a lot done. I went to HEB, I grabbed 
way more things that was on my list but i mean it's okay i'm gonna eat it i'm gonna eat everything i'm here till next wednesday it's currently friday so i feel like i have time and i just got some things for tomorrow's tubing thing so i got like a pack of um 18 like chip bags for the bus and then i also did my hawaiian rolls sandwich thing and now i'm making butter chicken again did i make it this week i feel like i did but I'm kind of loving it and I was really craving it. This was one of the things that was not on my list that I ended up getting. I don't know what I want to watch on TV. I think I might like go through like my watch later playlist because now these past few months, Ryan has been so obsessed with watching golf videos. You guys know he loves to golf. And so when he comes home from golfing and in between his golfing, he watches golf videos on the TV. So he always hogs it, which I totally understand because I love watching YouTube on the TV. Like it's such a better experience rather than playing it on just like your phone or, or your laptop. Like I love casting it. It's so easy. And that's, again, the thing about like smart TVs, it's just so easy to like cast it. Anyways, I might watch some YouTube or I might watch some Netflix because I feel like there's so many shows that... I haven't really started just because I feel like Ryan wouldn't be into them, but like honestly, he watches a lot of my shows and like, I feel like once you are like two, three episodes into any show, you kind of get into it, even though they're kind of cringy. So not that he wouldn't watch them with me if I asked him to, but sometimes, especially the more girly shows, I feel like it would be fun to watch alone. I think somebody recommended Boo Bitch. They said it was super cringy, but just like a good binging show. And since I'm alone, I will probably be doing a lot of binge watching television and YouTube. So I might do that. I'll let you guys know if I start a new series. Um, but I think it was this week or last week, me and Ryan actually started a show called Cruel Summer. And we got this recommendation from our waitress at a sushi restaurant and she was like i can't remember the name but i'm gonna go text my friend because it was so good and so i was like okay like i looked it up and i was very intrigued by the description so we ended up watching it and it's actually pretty good they are cringy the acting's super cringy one of the main actresses is just like not very good but the whole show is very very interesting so you can watch that on Shoe. I think it's Hulu. I'm pretty sure it's Hulu, but again, it's Cruel Summer. So that's one we just started watching. So we tried to start watching Love Island UK, and I want to say somebody told me to watch like season two. So we started off with season two, and I I just couldn't get into it. So then I tried to watch the most recent season, and I still couldn't get into it. Every time I hear about Love Island, someone is obsessing over it. I don't get it. Like, what do I need to be watching? What season do I need to be watching? Please let me know because I'm not understanding the hype. And also, it's kind of hard for me to understand what they're saying. Maybe it would be helpful to have some subtitles on the show. But anyways, I'm going to end the vlog here. Enjoy my butter chicken. I actually bathed Sophie too, so she's all clean and we can cuddle. And it's just going to be a fun night alone, which is kind of scary, but it's okay. I am making do. If you guys are not already subscribed, make sure you do so before you leave the video and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.